Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 new iPhone tricks that you probably didn't even know existed. These are new tricks that you can perform on your iPhone on iOS 13. Now most of them are brand new I don't think you have seen them somewhere else so here are 15 awesome new iPhone tricks that you didn't know existed. You know on iOS 13 when you take a screenshot of a page like a website or something you can take like a long screenshot that will basically include the complete page so you just go here and tap on full page and you will be able to say like the screenshot of the complete page but what if you have like two or three screenshots and you want to combine them into one well on iOS 13 you can do that directly from the photos app so all I gotta do here is just go ahead and select a bunch of screenshots or even other like pictures and just tap the share button and from here I can just go ahead and make scroll shot just tap right there and you can see it will stitch them together and now you will be able to get that into one picture so all this you can see will be combined and saved into one picture so that's really really cool so just combine a few screenshots just basically go ahead and select a bunch of them and then you can go ahead and save them as a single picture on the live pictures or even like live wallpapers that you have saved on your camera roll you can add different effects now this is the stock one of course you 3d touch on it and it will com basically just play the complete live photo or live wallpaper but if you swipe up on any of live photos or live wallpapers you can see you can add different effects to them like you have this loop you have the bounce and the long exposure so I'll just tap right there it will add that effect you can see now it looks totally different when it plays so it will add just like that bounce or loop any of the effects that you choose directly from here when downloading a file with the new downloads manager on safari you will be able to see like a progress bar right there on the top of safari if you tap just right there you will see the progress bar and of course you will see the megabytes that are being downloaded but if you go to the files app and go to recents then you will see the percentage of the completion right there and of course you will have that big x button right there if you want to cancel the download and as i said here it will show you the percentage how much the download has been completed when moving files on the files app on iOS 13 you will have a bunch of like hidden options that will make it easier for you and faster to move files from a folder to another one. So if I go ahead and select these files right here I can tap on that little folder in order to basically go ahead and move any of my files to another folder. Now here I want to move them to the documents right there or to any of these folders but I want to create a new folder all I gotta do here is just 3d touch on any of the folders and then tap new folder and that way I will be able to create a new folder inside of that new of that folder that I just did the 3d touch on and then you can see right there it will create like a nested folder a folder within that one and I can go ahead and move my files directly to there on the Maps app on iOS 13, Apple has added a new feature called Look Around, which basically allows you to explore cities, of course the cities that support this feature. And you will see that icon right there when a city does support the Look Around feature and you can just tap right there and it will take you basically inside the streets of that city and you can just go ahead and look around on those streets. So just tap right there. To move around like this and of course you can just move anywhere you want on the streets of that city you can even go like inside of different stuff different like businesses and all that and take a look at them directly from here but if you want to move faster here what you can do is just minimize that and then you will see the icon right there just tap and hold on it and then you can go ahead and just basically move the map and you will be able to easier and faster move within the city so go from street to street from block to block easier simply by swiping here on the maps just go ahead and 3d touch right there and you will be able to quickly move directly from here within the city when taking a look at a city on the maps app of course it will show you the weather down there and also the air quality if you enable it through the settings of the maps app but you can also go ahead and 3d touch on that and it will show you the complete weather forecast for today for that city so you can see right here i'm in new york 
just go ahead 3d touch there and it will show you much more detail so the complete day also it will show you the chances of the rain the maximum and also the lowest weather right there so as easy as that just 3d touch on that little icon on the notes app you have like a bunch of text here and you want to move this text to, to another note what you can do is just go ahead and select all the text that you want to go ahead and move and then just 3d touch on that text and you will be able just to swipe like that and go ahead and just put it on another note so you can see right there how it blinks just put it above the other note and it will open it and you can just go ahead and release that and it will add that text to the other note so as easy as that you can just go ahead 3d touch on any text that you want and move it from another from a note to another one on the notes app when you have rows like this with the check mark of course when you make different lists or something and you want to move one of the rows forward or, or backwards you can just go ahead and swipe on it like this you can see you can bring it forward just like that so you basically get something done you want to move it out of the way you can just swipe like that to bring it forward or of course you can bring it backwards by swiping like this you can also very easily convert any of your notes into a pdf file of course just save your note as a PDF file on the files app. Just go ahead, tap the share button, and then you can go ahead and just tap the markup button. And from here, it will convert it into a note. You want to sign it or something, you can do it directly from here. So you can add your signature just like that as easy as that and of course once you're done tap the done button right there you can go ahead and save that to files just tap right there and of course go ahead and choose the folder where you want to save your note and it will be saved as a pdf file on the iMessage app, if you're on a conversation and that contact has sent you a few links and you want to take a look at them, but of course you don't want to scroll through the all conversation to take a look at those links, what you got to do is just tap on the name of the contact, tap the info button, and right here it will show you the link. So it will just show you a preview of the first few ones. You can tap see all links, and from here you will be able to see all the links that that contact has sent you, and of course you can even remove them from here just tap the select button and you can go ahead and just basically remove any one of them directly from the conversation of course on iMessage you can react to messages so basically what you will have to do is go ahead and 3d touch on it and you will have that menu which allows you to react to messages but you can also do that faster simply by double tapping on any message and it will show you this like little menu which allows you to faster react to any iMessage when editing pictures on your iPhone on iOS 13, of course, now you have a bunch of tools which, which allow you to basically edit your picture the way you like. But if you're just editing a picture here and you want to see the original picture and see how you're editing it, you can just tap right there on the picture and it will show you for, for a few seconds the original version of your picture so that way you can see how the editing is going. When selecting pictures on iOS 13 and earlier iOS versions as well, you can just go ahead and select them easy simply by swiping like this. But if you want to go ahead and select the other ones below them as well, you can just go ahead and keep your finger here. It will start sc scrolling down like this and you will be able to easier select any of your pictures. Of course, you can do the same with the unselect. Just put your finger right there at the top and of course you can swipe up more to go faster and that way you can easier select and unselect any pictures that you want. With the new download manager on Safari, of course, now we can download a bunch of files and save them to our iCloud or iPhone. Now you will have a new feature on iOS 13. If you go to general and go to the iPhone storage, now you will have here a list of the apps that are taking the most space on your device. And of course, there will be also another section right here that is called on my iPhone. And here we'll see how much the data that you have downloaded is taking up space on your device and also if you go right there to my iphone then you will be able to see all those files all the folders you can browse them directly from here of course it shows you all the stuff that is downloaded within the, those folders you can also tap the edit button and you can edit any one of them directly from here of course you can even swipe just like that to easier delete any file that you want from your phone so directly from here it will be deleted of course when you do that it will also delete it from the files app basically that file is gone and you can do that only for files that are within saved locally on your iphone not the files that are saved on the cloud 
only voice memos on iOS 13. Now you will have the ability, of course, to edit them. Just tap right there, edit a recording. But now you can also swipe like this to make it like bigger so you can easily record that. Just go ahead and swipe in and out to make that bigger. And of course, you want to trim it. This is very, very useful if you want to trim something you just go ahead and make it smaller or bigger and of course if you want to replace something here you can go ahead and just put basically the cursor right there tap replace and you can start recording right there on that place and replace that what you did record earlier of course just click like that and you can record anything new that you want so that is it for this video guys these are 15 new iphone tricks that you probably didn't know existed if you have like a trick that you know that you think we don't go ahead and leave it right down below in the comment section so that's basically it. thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned some new tricks that you can perform on your iphone again don't forget to subscribe for more videos also leave a like and a comment on this one and i will see you guys on the next one